guys, today I'm going to show you guys how I made our baby's mobile that is over her crib. Uh, so I got this felting kit off of Amazon and some extra pieces of wool. And I'm going to try to explain to the best of my abilities how I made this mobile. To start off, I am using this light green felt wool that I'm rolling up as tight as I can so that I can felt it down to be tight ball so you can see a little bit of it here um, all you really do is punch the needle up and down to felt the wool together so that it will be a tight uh, ball or whatever shape that you prefer but since this is going to be a turtle then obviously I want it to be a round or as round as I can make it a uh, ball Every now and then I'll make sure that it's getting firm and round and I'll punch down where I need to. And as you can see here, I made it to the shape that I kind of wanted and I'm continuing to uh, make it look more like a turtle. So I'm adding darker green as the shell on top. But since I already have the base, it'll be fairly easier to make this part than the actual ball itself. So once the shell is on, I'll start stippling around the edge of it so that it, it'll be consistent. And then I'll start stippling on the top to make it uh, more firmer. So I can see some bald spots in the shell as you can say. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the wool on top of that and stippling it down to cover up these, I don't know, bald spots as you could say. Um, but you kind of just see as you go what it looks like and where you need to add more but that's really all I'm doing here once I feel the turtle is done I'm gonna start on its legs and its head so I'm just making small balls that will eventually be attached to the body of the turtle um, so yeah this is a little bit of a tricky part because it's so small and the needle is sharp so but just keep at it um, and try to make them as round as possible you know it doesn't matter if it's symmetrical or not it'll just be legs as you can see here I'm actually using leather finger gloves which are very helpful for those small things like this a flower that I'm adding to the head of the turtle they're not stab proof but they do help a little bit with the stabbing <laughs> Next up is the giraffe. I've already made the body for this and same here with the small circular legs. Um, you just kind of follow what y the concept you're going for. Um, so for me I just did it easy with the small body and like disproportionate cartoonish animals. So I'm just adding the spots here. Um, really just it's not that difficult, you just stab in the small patterns as you like. And here is part of the raccoon. Uh, same thing, made the body, adding the details here. So the ears, the eyes, all the other black details, the feet, etc. Um, the ears can be a little tricky, so what I did was I started out just laying them flat in a triangle and then try to stab them as much as possible and then just inserted them on top here is the fox i'm making the body uh, two circular shapes one bigger one smaller the smaller for the head uh, later on i'm adding the cream details as well as the ears you can see here uh, what i was trying to explain a little bit earlier that you kind of just make the triangle shape down and then attach them to the main body afterwards.
lastly, I'm making a little hedgehog. So all I'm doing here is basically the same as the turtle, where I make half the shell and then the body underneath. Really easy, super simple to do. And all I did was try to pinch the nose a little bit more so it has kind of like an almond shape instead of a circular shape. And then added the little feet and a little, again, a little flower at the top of its head to match all the other animals. All right, now it's time to assemble the mobile. So here I have some jewelry thread that I put on a needle and am sticking through the top of the turtle uh, like so and just tie it down to the turtle itself and cut off the excess uh, string so there you see it's on the bottom of the string I'm gonna measure up how long of a string I need and then I attach a little bell right here a little jingle bell to make the mobile have some sound. So again, I'm just tying that to a spot where I feel like it looks good. And here I have some flowers. Uh, so I'm threading actually the flower like that and it will cover the bell so you don't see the bell but it will still make that jingle sound, which was really cool. Here I made some small felted wool balls just to add some color. These are the colors that are on the flowers of each animal, so I'm just using different colors. Uh, and then attaching it to the ring itself. I'm doing the same thing to all of the animals, uh, but variating the difference in order, I guess. So here I'll do like a large pom-pom, and then a small pom-pom and then a flower and the next one maybe I'll do a small pom-pom and a flower and then a big pom-pom so I'm just variating what order the different details are coming in but that's basically all that I do for the rest of the animals as well Here is the finished product. All I did to hang it up was use the jewelry thread and tie it around the circle and up into the ceiling. I hope you guys found this somewhat interesting and maybe a little bit educational. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys later. That's it. I hope you liked this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. And remember to subscribe to my channel. You can also check out our other channel Jeff and Lynn for more vlog style content and click here to watch my previous videos and don't forget to check out all my social medias.